Contemporary Amperex technology Kegel has recently announced and revealed the world's first ever sodium ion battery for electric vehicles. Kegel is one of the main suppliers of engines of Tesla and other electric vehicle companies and a major one of Tesla China, from where Tesla China gets most of its engines. Before the unveiling of sodium ion batteries, lithium ion batteries were used. In fact, Lithium-ion batteries are still in use by most engine and battery-making companies, as the makers have only yet discovered that sodium-ion batteries can be a better option. The problem with lithium-ion batteries is the cost. The metals used in such batteries are quite expensive. With the passage of years, as everything is getting more and more expensive, the prices of metals used in lithium-ion batteries like cobalt and nickel are also mounting. To cut these increasing costs, which are ultimately increasing the prices of vehicles, electric vehicle makers have thought of the use of sodium-ion batteries, as this new battery will use raw materials that are relatively cheaper. This battery will allow the EVs to use cobalt as the main material in their batteries, which is different from what was being done previously. The only drawback of sodium-ion batteries is that they produce less energy density than lithium-ion batteries do. The research and development team has been experimenting to try to get this power from 160 watt hours per kilometer to 200 watt hours. In comparison, lithium ion batteries have power that can reach up to 285 watt hours per single kilometer. The chairman and founder of Ketel, Robin Zhang, says that the sodium ion batteries have a lot of advantages over the lithium ion phosphate batteries, despite sodium ion batteries having lower power levels. According to Zheng, these advantages that the sodium-ion batteries have over the other type of batteries are the benefits in low temperature performance as well as charging faster. The company is planning to produce and make this into an industry of making sodium-ion batteries and is even planning to make an industry chain for its own production. Its founder says that other research institutions and many scientists who want to take part in the promotion and development of sodium-ion batteries are more than welcome. Tesla has been working not only with Skatel, but also with other suppliers of batteries, and has been making sure that their cars get everything they need from suppliers like Panasonic and LG. Tesla's team itself keeps exploring better options for their batteries and tries to find their own solution of making the electric vehicles that would upgrade their car-making game in the market. Tesla's looking for options and doing research for better powered batteries for their vehicles that cost less and are power efficient. It was back in 2019 that Tesla first partnered with Skatel in order to get sufficient numbers of batteries for their vehicles produced at its Gigafactory Shanghai facility. This venture of Tesla in China in collaboration with Skatel has been very successful and they have been trying to keep up with the ever-growing demand for Tesla cars. The share that Cato has in Tesla's profits is approximately 30%, and now the company has been facing some issues regarding the growing prices for raw materials that are used in batteries they make for electric vehicles. This is the reason for which they have decided to introduce new, cost-efficient batteries. This decision by Ketel would help evolve this battery manufacturing industry to move towards a cost-effective and more efficient battery production process. They just need to experiment and try on making the sodium-ion batteries a powerful feat for any electric vehicle, because as of yet, as we have already mentioned, the batteries are not as powerful as other types of batteries are there, like nickel-cobalt-aluminum and nickel-cobalt-magnesium batteries. Cadel has a team of around 5,000 engineers who are constantly trying to produce batteries that are cobalt and nickel-free, as these are the metals that take up a huge percentage of costs. Tesla even released a cheaper version of the Tesla Model Y with the Cadel's LFP battery. And according to Cadel, the new sodium-ion batteries will have 20% lesser price than lithium-ion batteries, which is going to be beneficial for the global electric vehicle leader, Tesla. Being one of the leaders in the electric vehicle industry, Tesla's constantly trying to innovate their products. Those innovations are necessary in terms of not only the structure of the vehicles, but also the power and battery systems used, because the competition in the electric vehicle market is growing day by day. 
The competitors are coming up with new technology-based vehicles, with added features and lesser prices. To remain a player in this market, Tesla has to innovate its vehicles according to the demands of its customers so that they can have the maximum market share. One of the several innovations that Tesla is planning to introduce into its vehicles is to use aluminum alloy for the structure of their vehicles. The benefit of using the aluminum alloy is that it is tough enough which would help in making the cars safer and more damage resistant. Moreover, this alloy is cheaper to produce, which would help in lowering the overall costs of producing Tesla vehicles. Overall, this change would create a whole new breed of Tesla vehicles that are incredibly tough. The patent made by Tesla for changing the material for the body of its vehicles is die-cast aluminum alloy for the structural component of vehicles. This shows that with the aluminum alloy, they would be making physically stronger cars. Should we delve into the details of this patent? It says that Tesla wants such aluminum alloy that is strong as well as ductile for the outer components of their vehicles. The strength of this alloy depends on how it is casted on the required component. If it is properly casted on the component itself, then it would be done quickly and reliably. However, if it is not casted well, then it may cause hot tearing of the aluminum alloy, which can cause a lot of issues. Furthermore, the patent states that the aluminum alloys that are used these days on structural components may require processes of heating, which will help strengthen the outer structure of the component and even save it from corrosion. Such processes for strengthening may have their benefits, but they require a lot of space, equipment, machinery and staff, which can incur huge costs on the company. So Tesla does not plan to implement such processes. They just want aluminum alloys that have incredible strength and ductility, so they can avoid such expensive procedures. The process of making this aluminum alloy is not very difficult. It just has to be casted well onto the component. Except for aluminum, as the name suggests, other raw material in making this alloy is vanadium that gives the alloy its special features. In another type of aluminum alloy, amounts of copper and magnesium are also used, which gives the alloy its incredible strength. Aluminum, with such different components, makes strong alloys that give it high strength and ductility. Such alloys will be experimented with and tested in order to see which one would be the best among all to be used for Tesla's vehicle's outer structure. The process of introducing such changes into the structure of its vehicles will take a lot of time, as it would completely change the way the structure is being produced. If Tesla becomes successful in introducing aluminum alloys in its production of the structure of the vehicles, then it will benefit from them in making cars that are amazingly durable, damage-resistant and strong. In addition to that, the company's production costs will be lower, as these alloys are cheaper to produce, hence increasing the overall quality of their vehicles. Furthermore, this innovation can bring this mega change in the industry of course, as they will become safer and ultimately reduce the number of accidents that happen every day, and by avoiding heat treatment after casting, Tesla can save a significant amount of the cost on vehicle production. This would definitely be a game-changer for Tesla, as it will attract new people towards buying Tesla's vehicles and help create customer loyalty in existing customers, as Tesla promises to bring innovation that is unique and safe. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.